Bon dia, gente. This is Frederick from Porto, Portugal. Portugal has just beaten a new record in terms of tourism. Last year, over 13 million people came to Portugal, which is great for the country. Also shows the attractiveness, despite all the things that happen in the world. The government also released many restrictions that um, were imposed last year on short-term renting. So if you think about also buying something to do short rental and if you have a property and you would like to start short-term rental or the so-called allogement local here are some pros and cons number one you definitely have a bigger revenue you should make at least 30 to 50 percent more than if you do long-term rental um, it's very simple sometimes it's even more it depends of course on on the areas but you definitely um, should have a, a quite higher income, 30-50% at least. Number two, you definitely have more flexibility. If you rent long term, even if you have a 12 months contract, tenants usually can extend the contract until three years. If you do a logement local and get a license, you can also do long term renting if you change your opinion and keep the license. If you do a legitimate local, you can also stay in the apartment yourself. So you have much more flexibility. Number three, it's easy to set up. Um, it takes about maybe two weeks. You can do it with your own NIF number, your Portuguese tax number. You need an extra insurance, which is not very expensive. Usually it's around 250, 300 euros. It's very simple. So um, it's not a, a big bureaucratic process to set up. Number four, pro, and that's my personal opinion. I think houses are used less. You have more people staying there, but independently, it doesn't matter uh, if they're different people staying in the apartment or one person. People don't spend a lot of time in the apartment or the house. They usually uh, eat out. So in general, I think a pro is that the houses are used less. Number five, you have secured payments. If you have a tenant, you don't have to worry about the payment. They already paid the platforms like Airbnb, like Booking or somebody else. So if there was somebody staying in your apartment, you can definitely also get the payment and you don't have to, to fight for it. One of the main cons of doing a logement local is that you have to buy furniture, which can be quite significant depending on the size of the property. And if you do a logement local, that's my personal suggestion buy good furniture. The other two are quite related to each other. If you're thinking about investing, and especially for tourism, you also have to invest where the tourism is. For example, at the Algarve, I'd like to talk about uh, the triangle, uh, the B triangle beach bar balcony. So people like to walk from the balcony to the beach, maybe then to a bar and back. But if you would like to invest specifically for tourism, you also have to buy where tourism is. And these areas tend to be more expensive. And if you use, and this is number three of the cons, if you would like to use the apartment for yourself, you also have to stay where the tourism is. Maybe an apartment downtown or really at the, the center of uh, the activity is not the best choice to, to spend your own um, vacations. Number four. You have a guaranteed income usually, but it's not stable. So um, if you need a certain amount of money per, per month, um, long term rental might make more sense. So if you need some sort of security, if something happens like Corona or if there's another problem, it's not very likely or it's hopefully not very likely that something like Corona happens again, but still if you need a stable income. You should definitely go for long-term renting. It's not dramatic, but still you have much more bureaucracy. When you set up a logement local, you have to pay receipts for each client. You have to also maybe check the platforms, depending on the management contract that you have. You have to register your clients um, with the immigration. So you definitely have more bureaucracy when you do a logement local. That's it from my side. If you have any other pros and cons, please leave them in the comments. Follow us and don't forget, stop surviving, start living. See you in Portugal.